Hello everyone, Sean Mancini here. So for those of you who have updated to Ubuntu 16.4 or have recently updated your OpenSSH client, you may realize or may notice that uh, you're unable to access some legacy servers or devices. Uh, this is due to the fact that OpenSSH dropped um, support for the uh, Hauman, um, for the uh, Defo Hauman Group 1 um, algorithm. Reason being is that it is insecure and a very old algorithm. And so it is uh, vulnerable to a log jam attack. So recently they've dropped that. But now what happens is, is that some of the older devices, um, especially some older Cisco gear, stuff like that, um, if it's old enough, it doesn't have the newer algorithms and um, if it doesn't have s updated code uh, you're going to be left with the ability not to be able to SSH the client won't allow you by default so you have to come up with some workarounds so I'm going to show you um, what that looks like if you if you try to attempt to log into an older device Okay, so just give me a moment here. Okay, since I already have the workaround put on my machine, I just disabled the workaround for now, just to sh just to show you. Now, if you try connecting to an older device, you're gonna get an error. Say no matching key exchange method found. Uh, because the offer is Dauphin um, Daifo Hauman uh, Group 1. Now, this is obviously uh, a very great feature, uh, especially for a client that is um, meant to uh, connect to secure connections. Um, it is making sure that you're not using an insecure algorithm or connecting to an insecure algorithm. By design, that's a great design. However, in practice, Right now, for instance, I have some old Cisco gear that's great for my lab. And the thing is, is that this gear is also being run in some companies that may have limited budgets and stuff like that. And, and it may not be an option to update the code for, um, for these devices. So what they've also done is come up with a workaround um, to help you. So um, what they've done is uh, said, so your SSH-O, uh, um, and then you can select the algorithm uh, explicitly saying that you want to use the, uh, the Delphin Hyman group one, and then you can continue to SSH into the box. Okay. Now, um, obviously you may not want to type this command in all the time so you have two other options one to create a script that um, you know old SSH for instance or something like that that will ask for the IP address and then automatically insert this command or what you can do is create a SSH config file in your dot SSH um, directory so I have a I already have a config made so this is what it looks like okay and then this is pretty much just tells SSH uh, to insert this command okay so now if I move the if I rename the config back to config I can now SSH into the box without having to, um, without having to specify that command. However, uh, obviously, we're now putting a insecure, uh, potentially insecure command, or uh, uh, you know, into we're we're pretty much going back and allowing legacy algorithms. But if you don't have a choice, then you know, um, you know, as long as you're in a management network that is fully secure and not, 
you know connected to devices that you're not a, uh, that you're not familiar with um, this this is another option in my case I only have one or two pieces of equipment that uh, are like this so um, you know I, I'm I'm pretty comfortable everything else has the newer versions of SSH so I don't have this problem so I hope this video was informative and uh, helps you out if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below you can also email me sean at seanmancini.com and uh, visit my website seanmancini.com thank you